Hello everybody, my name is Maria Toka and today I'm going to show you how to create this embroidery text effect in Adobe Photoshop without even needing to use AI. I'm not against AI but you can do it without it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to find the right texture. You need something similar to these where you have a lot of very structured, very organized kind of square elements that would help us create this embroidery effect. You can find the file with this particular texture under this video or you can generate something similar or try to find it on Unsplash. I'm not sure if they have something like that. But yeah, the easiest thing would be just to download it down below. And then when you open it in Photoshop, you just go to File, Save As and save it as a Photoshop file, PSD format. Just as it is, just one layer, that's it. And just name it Texture Display map or just texture map if you add the word map to it it will be easier to find and just save it after you did that you just go to file save as again and save it with a different name i already saved it as woven fabric texture so you basically would have two files saved separately with the same image but we're gonna work with this one woven fabric texture so for those of you who are using different texture not this particular image i can show you the image size it's roughly 131, 139 centimeters, 72 pixels. If you want to repeat the exact same process, so you won't be confused. The next thing we need to do is to type our text. I particularly like a black letter style or I think anything Celtic or medieval would work really well. It's really trendy now and I'm going to do it even bigger. And the next step would be to create a black layer underneath this text layer. So I'm just pressing this plus button. I'm dragging it underneath the hello layer and I'm choosing the paint bucket tool. I'm going to make sure a black color is selected and I'm going to fill it in with black color. And then I'm selecting both of these layers, layer one and hello, and merging them by pressing command E and changing the blending mode to screen. It's a good idea to convert it to a smart object to be able to make changes later if you don't like the result. I just do the right click on the layer, convert to smart object. And the next thing we need to do is to go to filter, pixelate, mosaic. And now you need to choose the size of the pixels similar to the size of these little squares. They will probably be a little smaller because if you really match the size of these squares, each pixel is going to be like really big and your text is going to be really, really distorted and hard to see the shape of the letter. Most likely it won't even be recognizable anymore. So. I wouldn't go that far and I would choose something like 38 I guess it's fine then we need to make it black and white to get rid of everything in between and we go into image adjustments threshold and here we need to choose how thick or thin we want our letters to be so you can choose it depending on your preference how legible your text should be I guess the thicker it is the more legible it is but obviously it's gonna lose all these delicate shape of black letter on so i'm gonna make it a little bit thinner probably something like this 156 is fine all right i guess you can still tell what this word means but that's not it in terms of manipulations the next step would be going to filter oh the layer should be selected filter distort displace I think 12 by 12 is a good number for this particular format but you need to try it and it might be too subtle for you or maybe even too much so it's a trial and error but if you repeat exactly the same process as me and you're using my file you'll be okay with these numbers okay and here we're choosing that file that we saved in the beginning of this video which I recommended you to name with the word map in it texture map open and it's gonna apply displacement and yeah just look at it now it looks a lot more integrated into that texture and the last step would be show this woven texture on the letters themselves and in order to do that we need to select the text and for doing this we choose the magic wand tool this one yeah the layer should be activated don't forget about that and we click in anywhere outside of the text anywhere on the background and that way we just selected everything else apart 
apart from the text yeah but also in our case the area inside of the O is not selected but it's still considered as a background so we need to additionally select it by holding shift and adding this area to our selection now everything is selected apart from the text but the original goal was to select the text so now we need to invert this selection and for doing this you just need to press command shift and i at the same time yes as you can see now it's inverted and only the text is selected we don't do anything just yet don't deselect anything just go to the background the layer with the texture and press command j which means copying and pasting on a new layer and we'll be copying specifically the shape of the letters command and j then we're just dragging it on top and now we can't see anything because we need to change the blending mode we're changing it to multiply and right now we still can't see anything but that's all right don't worry we just need to do the last step which is adjusting the curves and making it lighter and we're pressing command m Control M if you're on Windows. And we're just dragging these points to the left, the upper point to the left. We can also create a point in the middle and also drag it to the left. And you already see what's happening. Regarding the bottom point, you can try dragging it somewhere to the right, but it creates this much harsher shadows. So if you like that, it's fine. But I just think it's a little bit too much. So I would leave it as it was. I'm not really recommending dragging it up because that way you are getting rid of the shadows and it's not that textured anymore so i would keep it as it was and i'm pretty happy with this result okay the only thing i would change is i don't necessarily like this cold bluish undertone so i would change the colors by pressing command u shifting the upper point to one of the sides to the left or to the right and probably reducing the saturation and now the color is much warmer more like beige brownish tones okay and this is pretty much it i hope you like the result i've noticed it's a really popular style right now for posters especially when you want to create some medieval or some very classic design with these gothic black letter fonts i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you tried yourself don't forget to tag me on instagram or send me a dm or just let me know you did it check out my other tutorials on photoshop illustrator adobe firefly stuff like that that would be really helpful if you like this video if you find it helpful or you enjoyed it subscribe to this channel and see you guys next time bye